Hi and welcome. I hope you've been following the videos and you know that all the programs I discuss here have links in the description below, which you could open, practice and understand the topic better without having to download the software. And do subscribe if you haven't done so already. We're going to look at binary files, opening and closing of binary files, absolute and relative paths, access modes for binary files, pickle module methods, load and dump, programs to read and create a binary file using the pickle module, searching for a record in a binary file and append and update operations in a binary file. A binary file is a file stored in a binary format, which is computer readable, but not human readable. In contrast, text files are stored in a form that is human readable. These binary files are different from text files because they store data after converting it into zeros and ones, that is the binary language, and so there is no end of line character. Opening a binary file is similar to opening a text file. We're going to use the function open and pass the parameters to it. Only the access mode is going to be different and we'll look at that in a bit. Closing a binary file is also similar to closing a text file. We're going to use the function close. And when we use this method, we clear up all the buffer, free up the resources that were tied with the file and the file is closed. We can again use the absolute or the relative path depending on where the file is. If it is in the same folder as the one in which you're writing your Python script, then you need to give the relative path. Otherwise, you need to use the absolute path where you give the name of the drive, folders and subfolders. Let us look at access modes in binary file handling. We start with the read mode. In binary, the mode is written as RB and the file pointer is placed at the beginning of the file. It starts reading from the beginning of the file. And if the file is not found, it gives us an error. RB plus or R plus B is going to do the same thing, but it will open the file for reading and writing in a binary file. WB stands for write in a binary format. It opens a binary file for writing and the file pointer is placed at the beginning of the binary file. It overwrites the data of an existing binary file and it creates a new binary file if the one specified in open does not exist. WB plus or W plus B opens a binary file for reading and writing and it is similar in other ways to WB. The AB mode stands for append in binary format. It opens a binary file for adding information. The file pointer in this case is placed at the end of the file. It starts writing at the end of the file, which already exists. In case the file does not exist, it will create a new one. AB plus or A plus B opens a binary file for appending or reading information. We use the pickle module to read and write binary files. The pickle module implements a fundamental but powerful algorithm for serializing and deserializing a Python object structure. And it has two important functions, dump and load. And these are implemented through pickling and unpickling respectively. Pickling is the process whereby Python object like string, list, tuple, or dictionary is converted into a byte stream using the pickle.dump method. Unpickling is the inverse operation whereby a byte stream is converted back into a Python object using the pickle.load method. We're going to create a binary file using the pickle module. We start with an empty list and in the while loop, we are going to take a user input, which we will keep appending to this list. And then when the user inputs n, we break the while loop. We then open a new file in the write mode and add each record from that list using pickle.dump and giving the name of the list and the name of the handle as parameter. We use the flush method to write all the records from this list to this file new underscore rec dot bin. We then open this file in the read mode and use the load method to which we pass 
the file handle and then we print all the records from this file. We also need to give the input. So we've given all these as input. One is the roll number, two is the name, three are the marks. And we each time it asks us whether we want to continue or not. We've written Y for yes. In the end, when we write N, the loop has stopped. When we execute this file, we'll see that the output is shown as a list with all the names, roll numbers, and marks. But there's also a backslash R character, or the return carriage character here. That's because this is an online platform and it has these problems. However, if you do it on your own computer, you will see that the same program, when it's run, it will show you the list without a backslash R character. We're going to search for a record in binary file. We'll use the module pickle and we are going to use a list of lists which are stored in a variable rec. We say with open and we give the name of the file as new underscore rec dot bin and open it in W mode. We use the method dump to which we pass our EC that is rec and we pass the file handle B file. We use the flush method to write all these records into this file. We then take a user input to enter the roll number for which you want to search the records and it's stored in a variable ch. We now open this file and it's opened in the read mode and we are going to use the load method to which we pass the file handle and all the records will now be stored in a variable records. We use a for loop, say for x in records. So it will take each list at a time. And since it's a list, so when we say x0, it's going to look at the first element within the list of lists. And if that is equal to the user input, it's going to print that particular list. So in this case, we are going to give it the value 4 which is the roll number four. And when we execute, it gives us the output for roll number four, that is Prakriti and her marks are 87. We'll now search for records and the maximum and minimum values in a dictionary within a binary file. We first write a dictionary to the file. We import the module pickle. We use a dictionary which we've stored in a variable rec. It contains names and marks for each of the names. We also open a file marks.pickle in the write mode and use the dump method to write to this file. We'll then ask the user to input the name whose marks you want to know. And then we open the marks.pickle file using the read mode. We'll use the load method to load all the records into a variable records and use a for loop to read each record. If x is equal to equal to the user input, then we'll output both the name and the marks. We can also open this same file in read mode, load it to a variable b and find the maximum and minimum values from b. When we input the name of the person, here we've input Navya and execute this file, we'll see that it will output the marks for Navya. It will also output the maximum and minimum marks from the dictionary. We're now going to append to a binary file. We start by importing the module pickle. We'll store a string in a variable x and find the length of this string. We'll also open a file, strfile.bin, and we'll use the dump method to write to this file. The dump method has two parameters, x and b file. We'll also check the cursor position after writing to the file by using the tell method. And we close this file. When we read this file, we'll see that it shows this message. After that, we'll take another variable, which will store another string. And we find the length of this string, We'll also use the dump method, but now we use the mode A, that is A plus B, that is append mode, to write to this file using the dump method. We'll check the cursor position after appending to this file using the tell method. Now, when we actually execute this file, 
we'll see that the length of the string is 25. However, the cursor position after writing to this file is 35. And when we trying to append this, we'll see that now the cursor position is at 66. And when we give the output, it will, however, not give us the appended output because of the additional characters that have come into this file. If we do the same program in JupyterLab, we'll see that we get the same output in JupyterLab. However, if we try to open it in Notepad, we'll see that the message was actually appended in the file. It has not been output. So that's a little problem with the pickle module. We are now going to update a binary file with the user input, and we are going to use the pickle module again. We are going to use the same list that we did in the last program. However, we are going to store it in another file called student underscore rec dot pickle. Now you could give the extension dot pickle. You can give the extension dot win. You can also not give any extension, it will still work. So here we have student underscore rec dot pickle in write mode. And once we use the dump method, which to which we pass the list rec and the file handle b file and use the method flush, the entire list is written to the file. We take the user input for the roll number you want to change the marks for. And then we also take the user input for the updated marks. We open this file student underscore rec dot pickle and it's opened in read mode so we can use pickle dot load to load the file to a variable records which will have all the lists. Now when we read each list that is using a for loop we say for x in records We'll check whether x0 is equal to equal to the user input for the roll number. And in case it is, then you need to update x2 to the new marks. That is the variable that is storing the marks that the user has input. And once that is done, we again dump everything into this file and we're going to close it and read it again. Now, if we give a user input for roll number, and we update the marks to 90, we execute this, we'll see that in the output, we do not have an update. However, if you do it on your own computer, you may be able to see this because there the file has been stored. If you look at the same program in JupyterLab and we have the same record here. So for roll number four, we have the same marks. If we try and output these marks, you will see that the records will be updated in this case. We look at the usage of tell and see methods in binary files. We start by importing pickle. We have a string which we stored in a variable x and we write this to the file new file dot bin. We use the method dump and pass this variable x and the handle b file to it. We then use tell method to see the cursor position. We'll set the position of the cursor to zero by using seek and passing the value zero. And then we'll check the cursor position again using tell. We can open the file in the read mode and set the seek to minus 16 and two. Two is the reference point from the end of the file and minus 16 is the offset. Now, if we execute this program, we'll see that the cursor position after writing to a file is 54. The cursor position after using seek and setting the cursor to zero is giving us the cursor position zero. We've also used seek with minus 16 and two. So it started reading from the end of the file and it's given us this output. Before you go, don't forget to click on the links in the description below. They'll help you understand the programs better. Also subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon so that every time I upload a new video, you'll know of it. See you soon. Bye-bye.